An immature hooded merganser. It's feeding. It had just been on land. I wish I'd caught in more than just one picture of it because you can see how good at divers they are. Their legs are set way far back on their body. What makes them very awkward and they stand almost penguin-like when they're on land. This is a herded cormorant and this is a juvenile and I'm hoping that he decides to hop over the mud like he did just a second ago. So you can see the backward placement of the leg which makes them good divers but very poor on land. They also have to spatter before they run, they have to run across the water before they fly. Yeah, the group's gone through, but it still hasn't come out of the water, unfortunately. Hoping it decides to hop up on there, and you'll see how, how far back the legs are placed. Come on now. They don't like to leave the water because they're so awkward walking. These are cavity nesters, and they've been asked, uh, obviously this one was... Here it goes, here it goes. Now watch. See, the legs are really far back, which is typical of mergansers, sawbill ducks, which, are feed, which feed on all sorts of aquatic life. They will eat seeds and nuts too, but mostly they prefer crayfish and small fish. But I don't know if you can tell how far back their legs are. Their beaks are also very non-duck-like, having s these little ridges along there, thus the name sawbills that hunters and other people give them. But they're superb divers. The water here is too shallow for it to do that. A young hooded merganser. <laughs>